Good morning. I used to be able to visit the coast frequently when I lived on the Isle of Man. It was a short walk of less than 100 metres, and then I had arrived at a splendid bay with a view all the way to the South Pole. Well, Anglesey at least. A stone wall was perched on a rocky outcrop, and it was all that protected the south of the island from the worst storms. Nothing, however, could defend against the wind, which meant that I had to find a spot on the seawall next to a gnarled old tree bent backwards from decades of exertion, fighting its own battle against the elements. There I could brace myself against the wind, particularly the spray that was being flung at my face. And it wasn't long before I could lick my lips and taste the sharp, salty residue as it dried. No attempt at dressing for the weather ever worked. Wearing layers that were guaranteed by trusted outdoor companies and smothered in my thickest woolen sweater, which I had purchased in New Zealand when I visited many years ago. It was designed for inclement weather, and I wore that underneath my windproof, waterproof coat with a scarf tucked in to keep my neck warm, and even a beanie that I'd bought when visiting Robben Island, which is another island, actually closer to the South Pole. I must confess that I, I looked a little bit like the Michelin Man, but despite my insulation, I still felt cold blasts of air cutting through me. But I mustn't forget why I went there. The wind would tear at my anxieties, and as it plucked away at them, I would rediscover a frame of mind that I was in danger of forgetting. Taking time out, finding a way to switch off, getting away from a screen, retreating from social media, being outside, being alone, and of course, freezing as the wind continued to rifle through me. I miss those outings to the sea. It usually ended up with me chasing after my little brown dog, an energetic fellow who made light of even the worst weather in order to stretch his legs and chase seabirds on the beach. We must remember that in Yorkshire in particular, places of beauty are never far away, and soon you will have time and hopefully the inclination to find your own spot, preferably in the sun on a blissfully warm day with clothing to match the weather. Or you could just take a walk and notice things you've never noticed before. Take in the magnificence of nature and the richness of experiencing it. It is possible to switch off, to make yourself remote from social media, to find the right frame of mind, free from constant disruption. You have a two week break. Make the most of it, look after yourselves and take care of your parents. They deserve a break too. Oh, and before I sign off, at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, turn off your screen. Now I hope you can join me for a few minutes of silence.